Hi, my name is Masha Nuts, and I wanna show you some of the bracelets that I've been making recently. I also did a poll on my Instagram recently and turns out you guys want the challenges back. So we're bringing the challenges back. There's gonna be a new and very exciting summer challenge. I'll be talking about that towards the end of the video. First, let's look at the pictures from the previous challenge. I haven't made a wrap up video in ages. So these challenge pictures are probably like a year old and I'm sorry about that. But look at how pretty they are. Last time the challenge was to make any kind of fruit related bracelet and you guys made so many. There are so many patterns on here that I didn't even knew existed that I love and I am now adding to my to-dos because I love a fruit pattern. So thank you to everyone who participated. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you'd like to participate in this challenge, the rules are gonna be later on in the video. Let me show you some of the bracelets that I've made recently. These are probably not all of the bracelets that I've made since the last wrap up, just because I don't keep track of things very well. I wish there was like a Goodreads, but for bracelets where you can actually like crack when you started and when you finish things. I've been trying to do it manually, but I forget to update that. I have a whole sheet that I was using and then I didn't update it for ages. So that didn't happen. So I don't keep track of things very well. And then I also gifted a bunch of bracelets that I made. So there are definitely more than this that I made since the last wrap up, but I don't know where they are or even what they are. Anyway, let's go through these in non-chronological order, just however they, however they land. Starting with this bracelet. This is a really fun bracelet that I made in October. Obviously it is a pumpkin pattern. I've had this pattern on my to-do list for years. I'm always really bad with seasonal patterns because I add them to my list when it's not the season. So I find a bunch of pumpkin patterns in spring or I find a bunch of cute Christmas patterns in summer. It's always out of season. And then I forget to make it for the season. <laughs> so this pattern has been in my to-dos for literal years until finally this year, I actually remembered to do it. So I'm very happy. Whenever you see me making a seasonal pattern, assume that it's been in my to-dos for years. I forget about them. But look how cute it is. It's an actual pumpkin. I love the way that the colors work here as well. I think it's sometimes really difficult to kind of do the highlights and the shadows when there's multiples kind of of a color. I think they worked perfectly and they work really, really well with the background here as well. I just love this one. I did record this one for a Not With Me, so if you want to watch me create this one, I'll leave that linked in the description. Next up, we've got this bracelet. All the patterns are linked in the description below if I didn't mention that earlier. This is a bracelet that I just made for myself. I try to make it a point of every Every once in a while just making a bracelet for myself. Recently, now that I have like a full-time job, I have more responsibility at my full-time job nowadays as well. I'm a manager now, it's got more serious. I don't have as much time as I had when I was just a student and I had so much free time, especially during COVID. I think COVID was like my peak with bracelet making. I made so many. So I do tend to make bracelets for videos, either a tutorial or not with me or anything. Like I try to make content out of the bracelet since I'm making it anyway. But every once in a while, I do like to make a bracelet just for myself to kind of remind myself why I enjoy doing this in the first place and just keep it as a hobby and something special. So whenever I do make bracelets for myself, it is very special to me and this is one of them. I think the pattern for this one is really cute. I also really like how the colors turned out. You would think that I'd get bored because I've said before that I dislike repetitive patterns. And I guess I don't dislike all repetitive patterns. I guess there's something about some patterns that makes it fine and um, I'm okay with, but this pattern, I didn't get bored at all. I found it quite entertaining throughout. I do love how the colors turned out. This one is special to me. I've also started wearing my bracelets more and I've worn this out a few times. Yay me. <laughs> if you're new, you're probably wondering, why do you make so many bracelets if you don't wear them? I don't know. I enjoy the process. <laughs> and then they just all stored in a box. Literally, literally they are stored in a box like this. This is my bracelet box. Look how huge it is. <laughs> <laughs> I need to make an updated bracelet collection video. I think I'm gonna do them yearly now rather than every six months, which is what I used to do. I'll leave my collection playlist in the description as well. If you wanna watch that and see all the bracelets inside there, I think I've shown literally all of them. So not in one video, of course, because you saw how many there were. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> This is one of my favorite bracelets that I made recently. I forgot that I had this string. Someone gifted me this string years ago and I made a couple of bracelets. They gave me two batches of it and I made a couple of bracelets with the first one and then I stored the second one. I forgot about it. I'm not even the kind of person who like keeps things to wait for the best thing, you know? like. I used to do that. I used to like hoard stickers or hoard strings, hoard things because I'd wait for like the perfect opportunity to use them. But then I realized that I just never end up using them. So I now very much intentionally use things that I would otherwise keep. So it wasn't even a case of that. I just genuinely forgot I had the string. So I found it. I was looking for something else and I thought this was the perfect bracelet to make with this beautiful rainbow string. Just look how gorgeous it is. I love it. And the pattern is great as well. This is like a very classic pattern for me. I like patterns with outlines 
and very simple kind of color schemes. So this technically only has one color and an outline and a background. So I thought it was perfect for this color changing string. This one was also filmed for a Not With Me, which I highly recommend because seeing the colors come together is the most satisfying. I think that's what I enjoy about bracelet making the most is like seeing the colors come together as you're making it, especially with color changing string because each little iteration of the pattern is different. So highly recommend that video. It'll be linked in the description. Love that one. Next up, we've got this bracelet. The color scheme for this one reminds me of the beach and I think it's really cute. I like it a lot. I first saw this one and I thought I wanna make a tutorial for it, but then I convinced myself that it was gonna to be too difficult because it seems very complicated, but then I actually broke it down and it wasn't that complicated. So there is a tutorial for this bracelet. It's a lot simpler than it looks. It's genuinely not that complicated of a pattern. Maybe if you're a beginner, don't start out with this one, obviously. But you know, if you've made a few bracelets before, you can definitely do this one. And I think it looks really, really cute as well. There are so many different color combinations that I've seen people do since I posted that tutorial. And also just in general on the pattern, people post pictures and I think it's gorgeous. Please continue sharing the bracelets that you make based off my tutorials. I love seeing that. Tag me on Instagram, post it in the Discord. Link to that is in the description. I love seeing when you guys make bracelets based off my stuff. So thank you when you send them. I appreciate it. Next up, we have two bracelets. These are the same pattern. I made this one first and then I loved it so much I knew I had to make another one. And this is again a case of it's a repetitive pattern, but somehow I wasn't bored of it despite there literally being two rows here. Like you would think I would get really, really bored. I wasn't. It had a, I had a lot of fun. In fact, I had so much fun I decided to make another one. I think these are really cool. This is another one of those bracelets that like looks really complicated, but as I just said, there are literally two rows and they are very easy, not complicated at all. Highly, highly recommend this. I made a tutorial for it. It's very simple. It'll be linked. I also love how I separated the colors for the ties. I think that's really cute. Next up, we have this bracelet. And because I film these videos so far apart, I could have sworn I already talked about this one, but it must have been during a collection video and not a wrap up that's here now. But point is, I made a mistake while I was doing this bracelet. This is another one of those bracelets that I just made for myself. I didn't record this for anything. Just wanted to do something for myself. <laughs> but I made a mistake in this one and I didn't realize until like way later on. And even now looking at it, it takes me a while to see where the mistake is. And it almost looks intentional. Let me give you a close up. Do you see it? It, can you spot the mistake? I didn't realize until I finished it and I looked at it later on. It's this part here. I wasn't supposed to do two bits of that white stuff. I was supposed to do the cross here in between here and then I just didn't. And then I also, by doing that, I accidentally changed the colors. So we start off with like light and dark and then we go dark and light towards the end. I didn't realize that. It kind of looks intentional, as I said. I actually think it looks quite cool. I had a lot of fun with this one. I enjoyed it. Great pattern. And I always classify it as a win whenever I do patterns that have outlines, but then I don't use black or white for the outline. I tend to do patterns like that a lot. So I get really bored if they all look the same. So I feel very good about myself when I don't choose black or white. Next we have this pattern, which is absolutely one of my favorites. I love this one. It's so cute. The rainbow bracelet with hearts. And it's just such a cool effect. I just love the way that it looks. This is also one of the bracelets that I wore out a few times, which is new for me. I don't really wear my bracelets. So it's like new and exciting whenever I wear bracelets out. But because of that, the twisted tie up twisted a little bit, but it's fine. I got so many compliments on this one when I wore it out. And also I just love it so much. I made a tutorial on this. I think there's what? Yeah, there's only two rows to this one. Two row bracelet. It looks a lot more complicated than it is. Tutorial is out there. I actually wanted to save this tutorial for June because I wanted to post it during Pride because, you know, rainbow hearts, it's beautiful. But I loved it so much that I just had to share it with you pretty much as soon as I filmed it. This bracelet also produced my most favorite, like real short TikTok, whatever, short form video that I've ever created. So if you haven't seen that, follow me on socials and look it up. <laughs> I have a TikTok, I have an Instagram, it's also on YouTube Shorts, so you can Look at it on this platform too. One of my favorite videos that I've ever done in short form ever. I remember when I was like doing that video, I was editing, um, so I filmed it and then I was trying to edit it to a song and I couldn't pick a song. So I was looking at all the songs that are out there and I was like, you know, usually I go for like chill hop stuff or aesthetic songs or whatever. And I couldn't find one that fit. And I was trying to look for something that I thought people would like to hear. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna choose one that I am obsessed with right now. So 
I chose that song, which doesn't really fit very much with bracelets. It's not the vibe of bracelets, but you know what? It was my vibe at the time. It was the song that I was obsessed with, that I was listening on to on repeat, because that's just what I do when I get obsessed with a song. And so I used it in that, and so that's the story of that. Next up, we have this bracelet, which I don't like very much. I'm gonna be honest with you. You would think, you know, you would think that I'm fake when I say, I love this bracelet, it's my favorite, because I say that for every bracelet, but I'm not fake. I actually do love that bracelet and this bracelet, and I, I, I don't like this one. <laughs> like there are just some bracelets that I just don't like occasionally. So I'm not lying when I say that I like bracelets. I genuinely do. Not this one though. I think it's the color scheme. It looked a lot cooler as strings, like just laid out together than it does in the bracelet. I don't think it works very well in the bracelet. I also just I don't know. I think I should have used the straight edge technique for this bracelet because it's kind of bumpy along the edges. And I should have known, like sometimes when you look at the pattern, you can tell like if there's a lot of, if there's a forward knot on the right side and then the same string does a backward knot for the next row, it usually creates a little bit of a bump. Or if uh, on the right side, there's like a backward forward knot. So the string goes in and then out. There's kind of like a dip usually. Same for the other side, but you know, opposite knots. That probably made no sense whatsoever, but I'm just trying to generally explain. Like sometimes you can tell if a bracelet is gonna be bumpy and I very much could tell by the pattern, but then I decided not to do it anyway. And so it did turn out a bit bumpy and I don't love the colors. I don't hate it though. Like I think it looks interesting. And I do like the colors in general. I just don't think they really work for this pattern. So no hard feelings towards it. It looks just okay. I also don't know why I made two tires on each side. I guess I thought that I did a loop and so I just did two ties on the one side and then I was like, oh, I did two ties on that side. I'm, I should do two sides on the other one and now it just has four. Anyway, people ask me how to tie bracelets, by the way. I don't have one with a loop or do I? Yeah, if you have two ties on one side and then a loop on the other side, you put one through the loop, like, like this, you put one through the loop and then the other one you don't put through the loop and then you tie them together and then your bracelet is tied. And then if you have two ties, you just tie them together. That's kind of obvious. The more you know, I'm giving you a bit of a tutorial in a wrap up video. Anyway, next bracelet. My next bracelet is this one. I've been looking for more simple bracelets to make tutorials for. I feel like I've exhausted the pool of like beginner friendly bracelets because I've just made so many tutorials at this point. So I was looking for something that's simple and kind of beginner friendly. I found this, I think it's really cool. Kind of reminds me of like an XO, XO bracelet, you know? But yeah, this is what it looks like. Kind of simple, simple color scheme as well. And I made a tutorial for this one. So if you want to make this one, go ahead. I'll leave that linked in the description as with all the other videos that I just mentioned. The rest of the bracelets that I have here are gonna be tutorial bracelets. So just assume there's a tutorial for the rest of them and you shall be correct. This is the next bracelet that I've got to show you. I really like this one. Green is not a color scheme that I choose very frequently, but I love it when I do, when it turns out good. Sometimes it doesn't, but this is a really cute bracelet. I love it so much. Again, there's a tutorial out for this one. Very fun, highly recommend. I actually really enjoyed making it as well, just like the process of it. So recommended. And then I went through a phase where I was really into like candy stripe shaped bracelets. So here's another candy stripe shaped bracelet, like the brick candy stripe or something like that. It's another rainbow one. I think this one's really cool. I also, oh my God, it's covered in cat hair. I can actually like see it physically against the light. <laughs> this one is a really cool pattern. I enjoyed making it a lot. There is a tutorial for it. It's quite simple actually. It looks a lot more complicated than it is. Again, you'll notice a theme. Like there are genuinely complicated bracelets. I just choose bracelets that are, look more complicated than they are to make tutorials on, obviously, because it's then easy to make a tutorial on it. So this is one of those. I thought it was quite cool. And then for the last bracelet I have to show you today, we have this one, which I also really love. It's like a confetti bracelet or like a sprinkles bracelet. It's also sprinkled with cat hair. You can tell which ones I made when I was in Russia, when I had my cats with me. They forever live on in my bracelets, even when I'm away from them. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, this is a really, really gorgeous bracelet and I love how the colors work here. I love pastel colors and I love how it works with the purple here that I used for the background slash outline. And again, this is one of those cases where I'm really proud that I didn't use black or white for the background because that's what my go-to would be. And I'm trying to push my boundaries and like try different colors. And so I did a purple here and I think it looks really, really good. I just love it. So I really recommend this bracelet as well. There is a tutorial for it. If you want it, it's linked in the description. So those are all the bracelets that I have for you today. Do you know how hard it is to make the thumbnails for these videos where I have to like hold all of my bracelets and like, like this and then take a picture with them. See how they flop? They flop. And I spend so long trying to like 
arrange them in a nice way so that I can hold them up and so that they don't flop and you can actually see all of them. Anyway, those are all the bracelets that I have for you today. Let's talk about the challenge. So I wanna do a challenge for the summer. This is just a challenge for fun. There's nothing to win. It's not a competition per se. It's just something that we can do together. I already have a bracelet picked out that I'm gonna be doing for this challenge. In fact, it's gonna be a tutorial bracelet. So maybe if you wanna wait for that. That said, there's plenty of tutorials already. Anyway, to stop rambling, the challenge will be to make a rainbow bracelet. So any pattern, it can be a normal pattern, an alpha pattern, literally anything bracelet related in some kind of rainbow color palette. It doesn't even have to be the full rainbow. It can just be some colors of the rainbow. I mean, don't stretch it too far. It has to be more or less recognizable as a rainbow, but like a pastel color palette or an incomplete color palette with just like five colors of the rainbow or maybe a rainbow string like this. Like this would qualify for that. This would qualify for that. This would qualify for that. And as a reminder, these two are tutorial bracelets. And yeah, there is another rainbow tutorial bracelet coming out quite soon. Hopefully, <laughs> haven't filmed it yet, but you know. So that's the challenge. And the challenge is gonna be for summer until I film my summer wrap up, which I will hopefully do. The only reason I didn't do it last year is because I had some family things go on that were not fun, that completely derailed all of my plans for the year. So yeah, that's why that didn't happen. Hopefully I won't have any massive family changes <laughs> this year. <laughs> So there will be, there should be a summer wrap up. I have so many bracelets already planned that I want to do. So there should be a summer wrap up. And that is when the challenge will end. And that is when I will show the pictures of the bracelets that you guys make for this challenge. So to participate in the challenge, please post a photo to Instagram with the hashtag not with Masha and not with Masha summer 24. I know it's a long hashtag, I'm sorry. It's also really annoying for me to search for it whenever I wanna <laughs> look for your guys' bracelets, but that's the one that we've been using so far, so I'm sticking with it. Make a bracelet that fits the criteria, upload it to Instagram with that hashtag. You can also submit your pictures to my Discord server. The link to that is in the description. There's gonna be a separate channel on the server where you can upload pictures and then I can get them from there as well. I hope you enjoy the challenge and thank you to everyone who participates. I have so, so much fun with these. I also miss them. I'm so glad that there was an overwhelming yes when I asked about it on my Instagram stories about whether or not you want to resume these. So thank you to everyone who voted there. And thank you for being an active part of this community. I appreciate you guys. So lots more tutorials coming. I'm going on another trip uh, in a few weeks, for a few weeks. So I'm pre-filming a bunch of tutorials and not with me's. It should be good. And then finally, after that, I have no more trips planned and also no more holiday days left. So I'm gonna be in London for a while and I'm gonna be probably filming some more face videos. So let me know if there's any face slash community slash I don't know, challenge or whatever videos that you want to see me do. Uh, and I'll do them when I get back, which will be the end of May. I'll do them. <laughs> anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. My book, which is now displayed here because I reorganized my shelves. The Beginner's Guide to Friendship Bracelets is now out. It's a photo guide book for beginners, starting all the way from the basics and then going to the more advanced stuff. You can get it anywhere you typically buy books. And there's also a direct link in the description if you want to use that. I also wanna give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters. It is with your support that I'm able to continue creating videos for this channel. So I really appreciate it. If you also wanna become a patron and support the work that I do here, the link to that is in the description. But in any case, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you participate in the challenge and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.